Hello National 5, in this video we're going to expand our knowledge of HTML and CSS by adding a wee bit on know what we know about tags and a wee bit about how we apply styles to different HT elements. So let's dive in and take a look at what we're going to be looking at this lesson. So we are going to identify and implement the HTML div tag. We are going to explain why a class and ID are used in CSS. And we're going to describe the effect that a class or ID will have on an HTML element, for example, head, paragraph, or indeed this new div tag that we're talking about. And then through practical activities, you will be able to implement the class, the ID, and the div tag. So let's have a look at the div tag first of all. So the HTML div tag is used for defining a section in your document. Within the div tag, you can then apply a CSS style to it so that you've got different portions of your website formatted differently. So let's have a look at an example. On the screen here, on the right hand side, we have got some UK cities. In these UK cities, we've got a heading and then a paragraph. So for example, if we wanted these cities to have a different background colour to the background colour of our page, which is white at the moment, we can give the whole city a different colour because it's got an H1 element or an H2 element and it has got a paragraph element. So what we can use is we can add the div tag in where we want it to start. So we want the div to start at Edinburgh. We want to have the heading two for Edinburgh. We want to have the paragraph for Edinburgh and then we want to close it after Edinburgh. And then within my CSS, within my style, I can then apply to the div a different background colour to the rest of the page. And what this would mean is that Edinburgh would now have a different colour. And if I now go down through my document and apply it to the rest of my cities, we can apply to the rest of the cities. Okay, so if you give me a wee second, we will do that. So I've now gone through this document and I have divved each city. So each city now has a orange background. But what if we want each city to have a different color of background? Well, that's where the class comes in. So an HTML class attribute is assigned to some property of the HTML elements. So all HTML elements within that class can then be formatted the same way. So if you look at the screenshot on the slide in front, you can see the Edinburgh and Glasgow, being Scottish cities, have been styled to have a blue background, and Manchester being English is red, and Cardiff being Welsh is green. So let's have a look how we do that in practicality. So here we've got the document, and this is our section for Edinburgh. So I'm going to add a class name to that, and I'm just going to call it Scotland. Down at Manchester, I'm going to do the same. I'm going to give it a name, and I'm going to call that England. Glasgow will be called uh, Scotland again. And then Cardiff will be called Wales. And lastly, down the bottom, we've got Birmingham, which is an English city, so we'll be call that England. Okay. Now, when I save that and refresh the HTML and see it in the browser, there is no change to it. What we need to do in our CSS now is write a rule for each of these classes. We specify a rule for a class by putting a dot followed by the class name. So we'll get to go for Scotland. And for Scotland, I would like the background colour to be blue and the colour to be white. Close off my rule, save it, and all being well, Edinburgh and Glasgow should change to be blue. There we go. So we now need a similar rule for England. I'm just going to copy and paste my Scotland rule, paste it in, and change it to refer to the class England and change it from blue to green. 
save that, refresh the rule over here, and Manchester and Birmingham are now green. But in actual fact, they should be red. My mistake. So let's change that. Refresh it. Now, where have I made a mistake in my CSS? I don't think I've made a mistake anywhere. There we go. So now uh, Manchester and Birmingham are now red. And lastly, let's do Wales. So we'll just paste the code that we copied. Change the Wales. And change it to be green. Oops. There we go. So we've now changed it so all these different countries are different colours. Now, the closest city to where I am is Edinburgh. So I want to make Edinburgh stand out because it's my closest city. So we're going to make the heading Edinburgh yellow. Now, Edinburgh the heading is an H2. So I want to just make that heading yellow. Now, I could use a class. And a class can be used multiple times throughout the document. But we know Edinburgh is the only heading that's going to be styled in yellow. So what we can use is something called an ID. So an ID element is used to specify a unique ID for an HTML element. You cannot have more than one ID within the same document. So here we go, Edinburgh is in yellow in my example. Let's have a look at how we do that in practical. So my heading H2 Edinburgh, the scroll on this laptop's not the best. H2 Edinburgh, we're going to set we want it to be called an a, uh, ID and we're just going to call that ID Edinburgh. When we come to use an ID, we put a hash before the a, a ID name and then type it in. And then we just format the CSS the way we would normally do. And then we are going to refresh our document and there you can see that is in yellow. Okay, so that is how we use the div tag, how we use class and how we use ID in a HTML document. Attached to this video is a link to a repel it project where that will give you time to practice how to use the div class and ID tags.